Hi everyone, it's Shannon and welcome to today's video. So today's video was actually not planned, but there's been an update with All True and this shocked me. It actually, it shocked me. So I wanted to, since I did a video about them closing, I wanted to do a video about this new update. Okay, so I am recording this on Saturday, July 2nd, and on Friday, July 1st, they sent out an email. I personally did not get it, but they sent out an email to most members, and then they also posted a the letter on their Instagram. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to go ahead and read what they wrote, and then I'm going to post kind of a, a screenshot of so you can kind of follow along. And it says, All True Community, the last few months have been full of challenges and change at All True, but there are some big and positive updates that we're ready to share and we're excited to announce that we'll be shipping spring boxes and orders over the next few weeks. What happened? In mid-April, All True was in the very difficult position of having to restructure. The supply chain's headwinds and economic conditions created an unsustainable operating environment, and the survival of the All True brand required a full reset, restructure, and sale of company assets through an out-of-court bankruptcy alternative called an assignment for the benefit of creditors. Until a resolution was reached about the future of the company, the original team was legally unable to speak about the situation publicly, including with the All True community here and elsewhere. There was a possibility of a transition of ownership, but there was also a possibility that All True would have to permanently shut down. The good news, a new and experienced ownership team was found to take the brand forward and a new journey begins today. All True will be able to continue on its mission by preserving the product experience and all other things you love most about your All True membership, while most while also making an on-time shipping and transparent communication a top priority going forward. Our first order of business is to ship your spring boxes. And then it says stay tuned here and in your account page for more updates in the coming days and weeks. So that is the letter that was sent to most members and well as posted on Instagram. Again, I personally did not get it. I just happened to see a post because somebody was asking on All True about having their box shipped for spring and I'm thinking, man, I can't believe so many people are still don't realize that All True shut down. So I went to the post and then I saw the letter and I was just like, what is going on? So some people got it, some people didn't. And I found out there's a reason for that. Now, in that post on Instagram, the company did respond to two frequently asked questions, one and two. I'm not gonna go into um, number two is, why did you go through you know, the alternative bankruptcy and explains why they did that. That's honestly not really important. Um, the, second, the first one, which is the frequently asked question number one, this is the one that I found interesting. And uh, it says, will I get a box or order that I paid for? If your membership is showing as active in your account page, you will be receiving your seasonal boxes and orders and no further action is necessary on your end. Spring boxes are expected to begin actively shipping next week and you can expect a notification that your spring box has shipped by mid-July. If you need to change your address, please contact help at alltrue.com and use the subject line updated shipping address for spring box. If your membership shows as expired and you no longer see a membership plan under my memberships on your account page, unfortunately, the new acquiring company will not be able to service your orders. In order for the new ownership team to sustainably fund and operate the transition of the company and avoid the possibility of a per pure liquidation of product in which no customers would have received shipments, the acquisition of Altru's assets could only include active customers. If your account was not set to renew because you had canceled your membership and or filed for a chargeback, unfortunately, this means the new company will not be able to fulfill any previous orders. We recognize that this is difficult news, but after reviewing every possible option, this was the only way to allow the brand to survive. Um, so there you go. So basically I had, when all of this happened, I made sure that I went in because my account was automatically going to renew. And what we were hearing is that even when they filed for this declaration of bankruptcy or whatever it was, 
that they were still charging, like they were still renewing customers. And um, so mine was through PayPal. So I went in and uh, deactivated. I just canceled my membership. Now I still had two boxes left. So I still had two boxes that were supposed to be shipped. Um, now I did get a credit. I didn't get a refund, but I did get a credit from PayPal. So I have been made whole. I use that money for something else. So I feel like I have been made whole. Now that was on PayPal. I don't believe that was charged back to the company because that was a credit and they basically said, you've been a customer for PayPal for 21 years, which again, blew my mind. So, but there are a lot of people who are in situations now, PayPal, I was lucky to get a credit from PayPal. A lot of people, if they were past 180 days, got nothing. It was like, nope, sorry, you're past the 180 days. And I think I was one of the first people that was able to do it. As more people found out that Altria was going out of business, PayPal was just like, no, we're not, we're not giving any more credits. We're done. So there's a lot of people that went in and did the same thing I did, canceled their membership because they didn't want to get charged because the company was going out of business and nobody was saying anything. And now they are out two, three, you know, boxes. And because they canceled their membership, even though they were owed, this new ownership is saying, sorry, you aren't an active member. So most of the people that were in my, the groups on Facebook and what I'm reading on Reddit, most everybody went in and canceled their memberships because they didn't want to get charged. So I don't know how many active members, I think the active members that they have were people that were just clueless of what was going on. Okay, so we know some people paid their money for their boxes, may not be getting them because they went in and canceled because they didn't want to be charged anymore. So we're talking probably 50 to maybe $200 for individuals, which um, is a lot of money, right? Especially right now, especially if you're out $200 and you didn't get any product, I, I would be upset as well. However, think about all the small businesses that were not paid. And that was a big question that I had and a lot of other people, if you read the comments, a lot of other people had. So Lalore Candles, which was one of the companies that I um, featured in that video about them closing because I had heard that they were one of the companies that were left unpaid. So I actually placed, you know, an order. It wasn't a large order. It was, I think I ordered maybe a little over $100 worth of candles um, just to kind of, help them out i guess right one order and the, mind you the candles are amazing but so they commented and it's a small um you know small business and said why don't you go ahead and pay all the small businesses that you stole from and then all true responded so i'm going to read this verbatim um to lulur candles prior to the unfortunate set of circumstances that led to the company's insolvency Altru spent seven years with one clear mission to create a platform that could shine a light on small businesses like Lalore and get their products in as many people's hands as possible. In the end, a series of extremely challenging external circumstances led to a situation that the business couldn't overcome, but the intentions of the brand and the mission of the company was always to elevate sustainability, ethical companies, and to create opportunities and impact for artisans at unprecedented scale. While it was a very painful end, we're hopeful that in the hands of new ownership, there will be an opportunity to continue supporting beautiful brands like yours and work is working tirelessly, tirelessly to tell your story to more and more people. As heartbreaking as it is, many well-known brands have gone through a bankruptcy process. It is especially common with retail brands that really care about and invest heavily in their product and brand experience. As we look forward, we will be doing everything we can to continue supporting brands who are trying to create a better world. So at the end of the day, they aren't getting paid. Now, the Lord Candles did respond and said thanks for the broad explanation that I was already aware of. However, it is still doesn't negate the fact that there are small businesses that have made product, sent it, and haven't gotten paid by All True. And your members had paid for it too. I had figured I would never be paid for the last shipment of candles, but to see All True up and running like nothing happened is more than deceitful and wrong. The vendors have been given zero explanation or acknowledgement. 
Without small businesses, there would be no all true. So at the very least, we need answers and to know what you will do to make things right. I loved partner partnering with all true for the last three years, but I think I speak for all the affected vendors by saying we're frustrated want answers and compensation for our product. It doesn't matter that the bankruptcies happen all the time and it's just businesses. What matters is the small businesses are still picking up the pieces from the recent circumstances. And All True is magically operating as usual. We just want you to make it right. And I agree, I, I agree. So that is the update that I have on All True. Um, now, it's a tough situation, right? It's there's different owners. This is somebody that took it over. Don't know anything about the new owner. I really haven't. Um, somebody was trying to like piece it together on Reddit, but I think it was all speculation. So I am just going to just kind of leave that. If you want to interested, I will post a link to that Reddit um, thread um, below. Um, and then I will also post a link to the Facebook group that I belong to that had information about all of this. Um, personally, I will not be joining Altru again. Um, that is a personal decision. You know, if you were a member of Altru and you enjoyed it or Causebox or whatever, and you enjoyed it and you want to continue, then I'll by all means. Personally, I am not um, seeing the way that it was handled. And then also for me, it's, um, they're let you know, the, the customers are one thing where customers may have canceled and there's an excuse, but customers pay for their boxes. They took over, they canceled their account because they didn't want to get charged again because no one was saying anything. So that I think is wrong in and of itself, but the vendors not being paid their products. Now I, I'm assuming those products are the ones being shipped out to customers for their spring boxes, but the vendors were never, you know, paid. I don't know anything legally as far as bankruptcy and taking over a business and all of that, but um, like like the uh, company Lalore Candles, you know, said that they just want to make it right and they're picking up the pieces. And these are people that started small businesses and it was devastating to their comp to their small business. And I can't even imagine. So I think that kind of shows where even though that was a really nice verbatim as for, you know, words that they put that it's about sustainability and showcasing small businesses. Um, personally, you know, actions speak louder than words. And these new owners have already shown that these small vendors that got screwed over by the prior owners don't matter. And um, so I just personally don't wanna be a part of that. So if you are an all true member, just um, keep in mind of all the um, small vendors and small businesses that were affected. And if you have decided not to subscribe to the new All True, um, definitely reach out to them. You know, try and uh, look at those companies. I have four featured in my previous um, video. I'll post a link below to that video. But um, that's where I would say take that money that you're going to spend on a subscription box for All True and send it directly and you know buy products directly from the vendors it's probably going to cost you a little bit more but you'll know what you're getting and you actually know you'll be getting it so with that if you like this video click like click and subscribe that way you get a notification every time i post a new video bye everyone